Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, the food is almost ready to go, so if I have to start the video. Okay, first thing is I'm making some taco meat, some easy taco meat. So I have been investigating, where is this? Native American food like Indians and the Aztecs. And so what I'm trying to do is find some um, meals that um, are easy to make, that are a decent meal, uh, that's gonna work uh, during good times. You know, there's a lot of food people eat, whether they're wealthy or whether they're uh, poor, like macaroni and cheese, food like that. So I fried some taco meat with some, or some, one quarter pound hamburger. So, okay, I was reading about the Navajo fry bread and they said uh, the Indians used to eat it as meat like a taco. I thought, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So uh, I have some uh, tomato sauce left from something I made. So I wanna use that to make some tasty taco meat. This is my favorite tomato sauce from Walmart. some taco seasoning from Walmart. I get all my hamburger on sale. So I think, I'll just sprinkle a little bit. I want enough I can taste it. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. A little more tomato sauce. Okay, I was researching the Aztec food, and they said chocolate was the food of the gods. I go, yeah, that's true, and I have a lot of chocolate, and chocolate tastes good in uh, chili, so I'm going to put a little bit in my taco meat. I think that would be tasty. All right, and so now I want to switch this to the back burner. That's all I'm going to put in my taco meat. Um, they've been warning us about uh, chocolate. Ooh, this looks good. They've been warning us about chocolate shortages. What could be more horrible than that? Can't see what I'm doing. Oh, there you go. I don't want to burn my chocolate. Let me taste this taco meat. If it tastes awful, I'll tell you. <laughs> this is why I say I could win a chili contest. Mm. Food of the God. I used to work right next to the uh, the um, the chili um, cook-off contest. I was working at, and, and the, in Alpine, and I, I don't know what happened. I wasn't there during the cook-off. Okay, so I want to keep my meat. Now I'm making some Navajo fry bread. So I got my Aztec meat and now my Indian fry bread. I'm like a food stylist now. I'm not like a barber. Okay, I have flour, and this is why I hate these packages. All right. So I want to make these like kind of like a flat bread, so I can. Uh, these need to be pretty, uh, pretty hot. These fry up better. Uh, oh, I already have one in here. These fry up better when the oil is very hot. So I didn't make my uh, fried breads. This is a very, very soft dough. 
Uh, today it mixed up pretty soft. I don't know why. It just does that sometimes. That's okay. I'll just add flour to it. This dough feels really good though. And so anyway, the point is, as long as you have lard in your freezer, because you saved it when you made your pork roast, uh, today I was going to make this with my um, canned pork, but um, today when I got home, I'm still not going to the gym. My um, my rib is not quite recovered. I'll go to the gym when I recover, maybe. I'm kind of liking not going. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, time will tell. It causes me to have less time in a day. I hate that. I, like when you get older, you feel, I guess I want bigger ones this time. You feel like you don't have any life left as it is. Like me, I'm 70 years old. I mean, realistically, how long can I last? Maybe not long if I eat a lot and don't exercise. <laughs> so use your creative license. They usually are a little bit, um, kind of like a pizza, a little bit. So I want to make this so I can fit my meat. This one looks good. So uh, take a look at this. Oh, my, my uh, oil is good. So I can eat the food of the gods. Um, the way the Aztecs uh, made the chocolate, it wasn't exactly a drink. It was like uh, food. Uh, now on these fry breads, the Indians also put some kind of berries in them. And those were meals. Those were not, you know, those were not like cherry pies. They were some kind of wild cherries they got. But I think this is going to be a really good meal. Uh, what I want is I want good meals, but I want good meals that don't cost much and are easy to make. So these uh, fry bread should be pretty uh, substantial too. Uh, so the reason I didn't make the um, the pork is because today when I got home, for some reason I had frozen one of the uh, brisket. Uh, you know, I canned briskets. And so I just ate it like soup. And so I wasn't hungry at all for a long time. And these cook pretty fast. Ooh, it's looking good. Maybe I can flip it with a fork though. <laughs> all right. So I have a nice big fry bread here. I'll show it to you when it's ready to go. So I just watch it and when it's fried, um, you know, you can see it's like a pancake, then, you know, it's getting ready. And I have some uh, black tea. Yummy. And I'm gonna put my, uh, I'm going to put half of my meat on one and half on the other. Uh, maybe I'll put my uh, meat on, all of my meat on one because these fry breads are delicious the next day. And, and if you have fry bread and tea, you can get by on that easily. Mm. Okay. So for the fry bread, all you need is... Uh, mix one cup flour, one half tablespoon baking powder, 
and one half teaspoon salt. That's all I put in this batch, but you can add a quarter cup powdered milk. And then you mix one cup hot water, sometimes I use whey. You mix it, knead it a little, put it in a bowl with a little oil and let it rest 20 minutes. And then you put the food of the gods on top of it. And then you eat it and then you're happy. That's the idea. And the other idea is that this could be made like on a, a camp stove if, you know, something happened, God forbid. We just never know. I don't know why I was making little ones. I like these big ones much better. Okay, that was easy enough. Now, you can't believe how good these are the next day. I would suggest stocking up on um, on chocolate, you guys, because they say chocolate, coffee, and cola. Uh, to, I was noticing, so take a look at this. Mmm. Uh oh. This is one of my better ones. Okay, life is good. Life is good. My tea. So what I want to concentrate on the rest of the year is food, water, a full tank of gas, and I need some gas cans and some small bills of cash at all times. Ooh, this one's turning out even better. All right, so this one's going to be plenty good. Let, owie. Mm. By inspecting the food of these other, you know, countries, and a long time ago, we can get good ideas on how to um, stockpile food. And then I made these, I brought these muffins. These muffins turned out really good. And uh, I bought this package of muffins. This is good. You got to make this. All right. This one's turning out even better. These are so tasty the next day. You just get some tea. Um, I was reading again and they said beans and cheese were eaten on these too. Um, the Indians, though, are really nothing like Mexicans. A lot of people, um, I think um, Europeans of all the races, they find American Indians. So I made these that I bought for 49 cents. And I was a food stylist. And I made some cream cheese filling and you just put two tablespoons on your muffin, any kind. Okay, just got to watch this so I don't burn it. That would be a tragedy. You got to make this.
you guys watch the videos on my uh, Rosestone X. This is canned pork, and you can just add like green enchilada sauce. This is a dollar ninety nine. To I just bought this today. I want to make sure for every can of pork, I have one of these. You could make tacos. You could put it on fry bread. Um, I bought that at Walmart, so I don't know if it's possible to find it any cheaper. Probably not. So even if the cost of food goes up, if we have prepared for um, some you know, low cost meals at all times, uh, things are going to be okay. I mean, even if you had this and tea in the morning, you could get by. At one time, I stockpiled up a lot of those taco seasoning. Um, I still wanna do, I still wanna make cookies how did I fit this on here? Uh, I was uh, researching again uh, holiday ideas with using the AI app. I got so many good ideas on there. It's on my Rotostone um, uh, Twitter. Uh, let's see. So, okay, food storage. Food, food storage, water, gas. Uh, uh, the thing is, is like when bad stuff happens, it happens suddenly. Now, what I want to concentrate on, the one I like, not counting this, I love this, is German food. So I want to make sure I have milk, cheese, meat, pickles, and sauerkraut. And then I want to make bread, be sure I have bread, butter, and jam. So I stockpiled a little food today. So I thought I am going to, you know, if you, a long time ago, if you went to a food bank, they gave you one of these every time, not so much now. So I bought one of these, 528. These haven't gone up too much. Mainly these, I want to make uh, macaroni and cheese. And then I, um, Stockpiled this uh, Walmart flour. How many pounds is this? Ten pounds. This was five dollars. I thought that was pretty reasonable, and I thought I'm not going to find a better deal than that. So I bought cheese. I bought, and then I bought a large bag of walnuts because when I was studying these uh, cultures, like the Indians, they ate some kind of nuts because you have to have some nuts and some um some fish to stay healthy to get complete amino acids and then um i have a canning tip that i just learned it's on one of the videos i posted if you want to make sure none of your meat is above the liquid Put, start about uh, one inch of water. I haven't done that. I just found that out. But what I did that was super successful, not on the pork, but on the beef, I filled about this much up with onions. So then the onions melted and I had no problems. But if some of the meat was a little dry, I will feed it to the dogs. But why do that? Just put a little uh, water in the bottom of the can and learn how to to do easy canning so um i canned about 10 pounds of meat and each pint is about one pound but as you can see i eat about a quarter pound per night so that's only about two and a quarter pounds a week so you don't really need also i want to mention uh um, the paper products, the plastics, and the canning jars are important because the paper products, I noticed a, a package of, um, napkins was almost $6. Let's see, 
somebody in their comments asked me, can I show you the other page of the, uh, the, um, but are the applesauce bread. So I want to show you, I want to show you guys that because uh, other people were probably thinking that too. Almost forgot about that. Otherwise I would have marked <laughs> This page usually falls open because I made it so many times, but it's being difficult right now. Okay, I think we're getting there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make some more, um, I'm gonna make some more recipes out of this cookbook. Uh, there's a tons of them. I uh, uh, like the pizza. I think this would be a great uh, place to learn, you know, making good pizza dough. Uh, I have made this uh, applesauce bread literally hundreds of times, and it always opens right to the page. Oh, it's got to be close here. And uh, most of the, the uh, recipes come with a photo. Okay, I'm going to have to show you guys the other side of the uh, applesauce bread tomorrow because for some reason I can't find it. Oh, how annoying. I'm in the desserts. It's got to be here. All right, I just can't find it. All right. Ah, here it is. <laughs> All right. I was reading the comments. And someone said, can you show us the other page? So here's the applesauce bread right here. This is so good, especially with tea. So you're always going to be able to, here's the other page right here. You're always going to be able to have a good festive bread too. If you get the... Um, the candied fruit, it should come out really good too. And just make regular fruit bread, fruit cake. And I want to say hello to Carrie James from Australia, the Down Under. That was exciting. Um, one of the um, followers said, that her rent was uh, increasing so much. And I had mentioned that I pay a lot more rent too. And I see that here. Um, part of the problem with the inflation is that the price of housing is so expensive. So um, I, I noticed that under the comments and she mentioned that she either she had moved in with a relative or the relative had moved in with her. And some people are lucky that have families that can do that. Uh, when I was going to the food pantry, there was this young girl. And she came down from like Washington or Oregon. And she was sleeping on her friend's couch. So she went to the food pantry to get food for the whole family every week. So I thought that, I mean, even if you don't have that much money, you know, you can still... Even if you're splitting the rent or living in the garage, you can still like contribute that way as well. So that was a great, great comment. And all the comments were nice as usual. So uh, hello to everybody and from other countries. Also, if, um, if you live in another country, if you can let us know. My followers read the, uh, the um, comments. Okay, so now... We kind of want to be alert for this expected increase in uh, plastics. They want us to get rid of plastics. So when they want us to get rid of stuff, what they usually do is raise the price. And be thinking about this milk, cheese, meat, fat, fat, meat with fat, pickles, and sauerkraut. And then uh, any kind of bread butter, and jam. Jam is really easy to make. So, okay, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all. Bye, you guys. <laughs>